الدينو نصيحة الدينو نصيحة دينيز are now in time to spread some smiles Hola. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جمال وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته Uncle Nive How are you doing? Uh, I heard that you were playing football How did it go? Not so great Why? What happened? Oh, you know, uh, my team's a bit rubbish really So what, did you win or did you lose? We lost. That's fine. That's part and parcel of playing football. It's There's fine. just some players that aren't alive. There's a guy called Malik and he's just so fat and slow. Oh, easy, easy. And there's also this guy called Salim and he just thinks he's better than everyone else. Calm he's down. He's telling everyone what to do. Jamal, calm down. Calm down. You know what you've done? I just, just told you the truth. No, but do you know what you've... I'm not talking about the teams. You know what you've done by naming those people and saying something bad? What? It's something so bad that Allah dislikes. What well, I just said. Have you ever heard of something called backbiting? Well, when you bite someone on the back? No. Have you ever heard about it or no? I don't think so. Okay. Should I tell you what it is? Look. Once Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, were with his friends, was, was with his friends who are known as companions, radiallahu anhum, right? May Allah be pleased with them. So he asked them, Atadruna mal Do you know what backbiting is? And the companion said that Allah and the Prophet, the Messenger of Allah, know best. He said, backbiting is speaking about a person in their absence that they dislike. But what if it's true? You know what? I haven't. So hang on, hang on, hang on. Go on. So backbiting, you're saying, is saying something about someone that they wouldn't like. They wouldn't like when you would speak about it in front of them. But what if it's true? Okay. The Prophet ﷺ was asked the same question by the companions. What if it is true? And the Prophet replied that if you speak about it and it is true, then that is backbiting. And if you speak mm. about it and it is not true, then it is lying and it is saying things about them that is so bad. You know what's going to happen if someone backbites another person? If someone no. says something bad about a person in their absence? What happens? On the day of judgment, all of their good deeds will be taken by the person they spoke bad about. Do you want oh, that? No. So whatever good you're doing is going to be taken away. Do you want that? Not really. So what should you be doing if you think that there is something wrong with the person and they're playing bad or whatever the case may be. Well, I guess I shouldn't say anything bad about them. They shouldn't say something bad. And you can always go to them and speak to them directly, right? So if someone's being mean, maybe go and talk to them. Of course, you should go and speak to them directly. Now, of course, I know, you know what? Sometimes there are some children who bully other people or who do bad things or there are people who do bad things. Well, in that case, you can go and speak with your teachers, you can go and speak with your parents, but don't go around in saying bad things about other people. It is not in Islam. All right then. Okay, and you know what? You're such a good person and you're such a good player. Maybe you can help them in playing and you can speak to them. Look, you know what, Malik, what is the name of the other person? Salim. Salim, oh, good name. So you can speak to them and you say to them, look, this is how you play and this is how you can help each other. You know, play with each other as friends and as team members, you know. Sometimes you will win and sometimes you will lose. It's not a problem. I think we should make dua for Malik. Go on, I'll let you make the dua now. May Allah help him lose weight. You can't say that. But why? That is not good. That's the same thing. It is something that he has. You know, if he's healthy, I try to use the word healthy instead of fat. I guess, I guess if he heard me make that dua, he wouldn't be happy. He wouldn't be happy. So should you, what should you say then? Probably not say that dua. And you should ask Allah for forgiveness, right? I should. And then what, should you, what are you going to say to them? I'm just going to tell them. Oh, I'm going to ask them to forgive me. Thank you very much. And what else are you going to do? That tomorrow. Malcolm, if how should I do that? Should I just go to them and say, I said something about you, so can you forgive me? That is something very important because if someone backbites another person, which means if someone says bad about another person, talks bad about another person, they have to go and apologize to him. So, for example, if I say anything bad about you, right, and you're not present, I have to go to you and ask you for your forgiveness. Okay? Uncle Life. Go on. Can I tell you something? Go on. The other day. Yeah. I was talking about you. Okay. But you weren't there. 
Okay. And I said that your beard looks make you look really old. I think it's beautiful. I like it. it I thought. I mean, it makes you look like a lion. It makes me look like a what? A lion. A lion. An old lion. You know what they say about the old lions. I don't know what they say about the old lions. They're but... always the king of the jungle. Really? Yeah, man. Anyway, <laughs> no problem. It maybe wasn't something good. So can you forgive me? Mm, yeah, you know what? I'll forgive you. Thanks, Uncle Life. Look after yourself. There's only one thing remaining now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam. Adinu nasiha, adinu nasiha. Dinis are now in time to spread some smiles. Let's call to Allah the one while we learn and have some fun. With Iman, Tawheed, and Salah, we pray a lot for Barakah. We love our prophets and follow Sunnah. Join us on the path to Jannah, where we only want to please Allah. Adinu Nasiha, Adinu Nasiha. Dinis are now in time to spread some smiles. Oh, yeah.